What's up guys, this is Sunny back with another video and as you guys can see I have my workstation right behind me. So basically that's my Z370 Hackintosh build and I'm running Mac OS Mojave. And today real quick I would like to show you guys how you can create a bootable Mac OS Mojave uh, USB drive so you can boot with this and install Mac OS Mojave. Now, Today basically I'm only going to show you guys how to create this uh, Mac OS uh, Mojave bootable USB drive for your Z370 build. Now I can't confirm if this will work with like Z390. You guys can go ahead and try and let me know. But I'm using a 9 gen uh, Core i5 9600K uh, CPU so I can confirm the CPU does work with this and also I'll leave my EFI folder uh, in the video description so you guys can download uh, the EFI folder. Now, real quick guys, um, I would like to give you guys a quick spec of my build. I'm running an ASUS Z370-A motherboard. It's a great budget Hackintosh motherboard. You can pick up this motherboard for maybe $160 or $170 from maybe Newegg, Micro Center, or even maybe you can find it in uh, eBay or Amazon. Now, the CPU I'm running in this build, Intel Core i5 9600K CPU. It's a great CPU, and this CPU, yes, does work with Mac OS Mojave. Also, I have Team Group uh, 2667 uh, DDR4 RAMs, uh, 16 gigs, and I'm running a AMD RX 480 graphics card, 8 gig variant. I picked up this graphics card from eBay for $100. So let's not waste any more time and let's just jump in and show you guys how you can create a bootable Mac OS Mojave USB drive for your Z370. So first thing first guys, you guys need a USB drive 8 gig or more. Uh, 8 gig should be more than enough and doesn't really matter uh, USB 3.0 or 2.0 but if you guys do have a USB 3.0 and you plug that USB to your USB 3.0 port, your process will be a lot faster than USB 2.0. All right, so we need to download a couple of the things. Uh, so I will have EFI folder and the MBR manual method, the installer folder in the video description. I'll have a link for you guys. Also, you need to download Clover Configurator. I'll have a link in the video description for you guys. The reason we need Clover Configurator because uh, after we create our uh, Mac OS Mojave uh, USB bootable drive, we are going to mount with the Clover Configurator and then we'll drag and drop EFI folder in our USB so basically we can boot with our uh, Mac OS Mojave USB bootable drive. We don't need to uh, download uh, or install. Uh, the uh, bootloader because I have everything in the EFI folder all right also guys you guys do need a Hackintosh or you need a real Mac the reason you need a Hackintosh or a real Mac because we need to download uh, Mac OS Mojave from the App Store so you can just go to App Store uh, type uh, Mojave and you guys can see Mac OS Mojave here view and then you need to download Mac OS Mojave and after you download Mac OS Mojave, it will automatically go to your application folder. All right. Now we need to format our USB drive. So we'll just go to uh, Launchpad and then go to Other and then our Disk Utility here. And uh, we need to format the right drive. Okay. So make sure you format the right drive. If there is any reason you don't see your USB drive here, you can go top view and then you can click on show all device and then you will see your USB drive so make sure you back up your USB drive like if you have anything important in that USB drive please back up before you start this process because you are going to lose everything you have in that USB drive alright so uh, I'm using the Laxer USB flash drive here uh, and you guys can see the one I have is a 64 gig that's the only one I have laying around you guys need 8 gig you should be fine with 8 gig now let's just click on Laxer USB flash drive and then click on erase and you can name your uh, USB drive whatever you want I'll just name Mac and then make sure uh, format Mac OS extended journal and then uh, partition GUID partition map and then you can erase all right so you guys can see we are done erasing and formatting our USB drive so you can click done and we can close uh, disk utility 
so now we need to open MBR manual installer and then we need to open MBR easy installer maker and can type your password now you guys can see installer automatically opened our application folder now we need to drag and drop our install macOS Mojave to our installer then press enter you guys can see the installer again uh, automatically opened our volumes folder you guys can see we have all our drives here now we need to drag our USB to the installer and press enter and then press enter again now this process should take somewhere 20 to 25 minutes okay so if you guys have anything uh, important to do you can just go do it right now and we'll be back after we are done uh, creating our macOS Mojave uh, bootable USB drive alright guys so you guys can see we are done this process is completed now you can close all this folder okay you can close everything here and now you guys can see uh, let me just unmount this MBR manual method all right so you guys can see our USB drive right here so basically that's our Mac OS Mojave bootable USB drive okay now we need to change all to, uh, the name because these numbers are just weird so let's just uh, type Mac OS Mojave all right all right so we are uh, all set all right now we need to open clover configurator and we need to mount our mac os mojave usb drive so you go to mount ufi and then we find our uh, usb drive here so uh, you guys can see efi on mac os mojave we need to mount partition type our password okay and then we need to open the partition all right so you guys can see we don't have nothing inside our EFI partition so we need to drag and drop our EFI uh, folder from our desktop to our uh, Mac OS Mojave USB drive partition alright guys so that should be it now our USB drive is ready so basically in that EFI folder we have bootloader and everything now we can plug this USB to our uh, Z370 build and we can boot from it and install Mac OS uh, Mojave now we can unmount the partition and uh, that should be it uh, if you guys uh, want like a detailed installation guide you guys want like a part two video please don't forget to give this video a like and also subscribe and also if you have any other question leave in the comment section and uh, everything else the link and everything will be in the video description so you can uh, just uh, go in the video description and you can just find basically everything there and if you guys do like this type of video and you want me to keep making uh, this type of uh, guide video please don't forget to use my amazon affiliate link you guys will find in the video description also because that will help me a lot uh, make future content for you guys that should be it guys see you guys next one mm -hmm.